Pipsy Paint Hoof is a 7 mana 4 4 legendary with a death rattle to summon a Divine Shield, Rush, and Taunt minion from our deck. So, in a big paladin deck like this, she can potentially summon Tyrion, Kulligarn, and Anoya Troop, which is not bad for 7 mana. But sometimes Pipsy actually costs less than 7 mana with Alarm Security Bot, a 4 mana death rattle minion that draws a minion from our deck and makes it a 5 mana 5 5, or also Kangor Dancing King a 5-mana Legendary with a Death Rattle to swap itself with a minion from our hand. And of course we have other big stuff that's good to cheat out as well, like the Factory Assembly Bot, a 10-mana 6-7 with Miniature Eyes that at the end of the turn summons a 6-7 to attack a random enemy. And of course this gives us a 1-mana one 1-1 one -one with the same effect as well, which is extremely powerful. Those aren't the cards that win games. Nice dirty rat. Turn 3 lethal? Oh, they're gonna armor up, but it's not gonna be a turn 3 lethal. I could draw Painter's Virtue and coin it out. Alright. Dirty Rut's a great card. Love a security bot. What a turn one. Um, I guess I... Am I supposed to coin here? I guess I can coin next turn and still hero power. I just don't need to coin until next turn with security bot, right? Well, I guess I could have, like, coined out deputization aura here, maybe. I don't think that was good, though. Five mana Pipsy. Last time I had a five mana Pipsy, I still lost the game to Reno. And uh, that sucked, but this doesn't appear to be a Reno deck, so let's have some fun. I do have Deputization Aura here to heal up for a bit. Oh, they're gonna pop my Pipsy. I have both of my rush minions in hand already. 
That's kind of whack. I was thinking this would survive this attack here. I feel a little silly now. Maybe I just leave them with a 3-2. Big cultivation. Actually, big triple sevens. Wow. My hand is full. Well, there's nothing I can magnetize this onto. Is there any way I can kill... Oh, they have a taunt in play. So I can prismatic beam. I don't think I can kill this after I attack with it. Can this ever draw lethal? I don't think so, but it is still going to be the play. I guess I'll just do a little healing. Alright, I've got a pretty insane board, but maybe some silly Reska nonsense could happen here. Although they do have to be careful to not die to Nomelia. She does go face. Tyrion, you're back so soon. I had the weapon, and even if they stole my taunt, I had Yogg to steal it. So I think it was hard to lose from that position. I think Pipsy is only a keep if we have Kangor. Shit, I should have kept Pipsy. I could have gone hero power here and then next turn dance floor plus another hero power. But I think the 1-1s one don't really matter much at all in this matchup and maybe I want to play like a quality next turn. Seems unlikely, but maybe. Well, should have got the free one on last turn, I guess. I'm definitely playing Kangor here. Do I rush it? I mean, if I pulled the 6-7, I could kill either of these. That's pretty nice. Nah, I'll just play it. And then if they ignore it, I have Equality Consecration next turn. I love losing mana. One of the most fun things in the game. Wish I could play this Nomelia here. Do I play Equality? 
Nah, let's just do this and see what happens. Oh, I hit Nomelia. Well, that's sick. Shit on. Blessing of Kings. Yeah, not so cool leaving Kangor in play now, is it? Hopefully I don't regret getting rid of my Consecration when I have a quality in hand, but I do have two Prismatic Beams. And that combo is playable as long as my opponent has three minions in play, which is kind of an awkward spot, but hard to imagine I would need a board clear if they have fewer than three minions. Do they trade? They do trade. Painter's Virtue. I guess I could like Equality Painter's Virtue push six. Seems kind of ugly. Let's just see what happens when I do this. Scenarius. Assembly bot. I guess I trade this for the bot to go face. Kangor. Oh, we'd love to see a Reno overdraw. That's the best card in the game against my deck. Reverb on Kangor. No, they gave their Zilliax lifesteal. Uh, what if I steal your freaking Zilliax, kid? How do you feel about that? Hand it over. Wait, what's happening? I'm overdrawing? Well, that's fine, I guess. So this is at zero somehow, but uh, Observer of Mysteries is cool. Very annoying card. Well, that would have been a good draw. Can still play this one though, and then what? Play this guy and this guy. Well, with a random mage secret, they've got to be scared to play wheel. Which is good for me. I guess I Amatus to deal with the 15s here.
Oh, they didn't spend all their mana, so I didn't get the uh, thing. I think I do this instead of dumping the Almatus. I would like the Almatus to be played somewhere where she might live, although that might be tough. Also, they might have Wheel Phantom here, which is scary, but at least it's an off turn for Forge of Wills if they decide to go for it. So I don't really think I can risk playing Almatus when they're going to play two 15-15s next turn. So I guess I'm just going to play Anoya Troop. The wheel was at the bottom. Didn't even need to play wheel to play Phantom here, but it's still strong. Um, I haven't seen Symphony yet, right? So that's probably what's going to happen next turn. That's a two mana prismatic beam, huh? Well, still playing Amatus. Nine burst from containment unit. And it's hard to deal with these Anoyatrons. Okay. There's the symphony. I'm not really sure what I'm scared of here. Probably most scared of the summon a 6 6. But they didn't have it, so that's great. I could go like trade, trade, and then push some face. Might just want to go max damage, though. I have Blessing of Kings in hand, so they can't simply allow the big Anoyatron to live. Don't think I'm gonna have lethal here, even with the second aura plus gift. I guess I'm going consecration here instead of whatever else I was thinking. I have to win next turn, right? But I'm in a reasonably good spot to do that. Well, we hate to see that. But if I can trade in with Kangor, this can kill the other taunt. And then I can Deputization Aura push 9. So I currently have lethal. That's fine. Oh wait, I don't even have to trade this off, I just play this and push a bunch of damage. I win. Oh man, very close. Nice, 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 nice.
I don't think the weapon is a keep. I guess I trade this. My hand is pretty good. Painter's Virtue into, or I guess probably Security Bot on four. And then maybe if it doesn't die, I play Painter's Virtue, or... Hmm, I don't know. I've got a turn to think about it. I guess I'm happy to go Virtue on four, and then I play a 6-5. And if they don't kill it, then that's fine, because I have a 6-5 in play. Alright, Spectral Cutlass. Uh, this should be a nice fun value matchup. Unless they draw a million weapon buffs, which is of course their goal, but it's hard to draw enough of them to be super scary, I think. Happy to play Kangor here. I don't have the best targets for it, but Kangor on basically anything is good. That was definitely the worst outcome, losing my Amelia like that. He's back. Let the bad lands burn. They love a little fiddle. Well, I guess because of the Cutlass, they actually accomplished quite a bit this turn. Beautiful Anoya Troop. And a Prismatic Beam. Maybe I get this guy online? This thing's going to be huge when I finally play it. They have gotten that weapon pretty big. Not feeling great about the lack of pressure I have versus how much healing they're going to get out of that weapon. Amatus. Alright, let's draw some... Hmm. Probably want the buff to be on Amatus herself, right? Well, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, buffs on Amatus are just so valuable. Because of how little damage she takes. Security bot's not great, but assembly bot, on the other hand, is quite good. 
cheap assembly bot might be just what I need to actually kill this opponent. Wow, that's a fucking insane card to have. But uh, this can be 3 mana burst 12 in the right scenario. I guess I probably have to play quality to kill that stupid bird. Okay, that's good. Probably just play double security bot here. I really do want to try to finish the game with this assembly bot. I can't imagine the Kangor is that good for the opponent, but we'll see. Another security bot, or assembly bot. I think I do this, though. Because, alright, that's good. Um, I want to get Tyrion in play, because then I have a weapon, so I have 17 burst. So I just need to get them down to 17, which is a very not scary number. Grom. Can I damage my Grom? Keeper's strength, I guess? My Grom has been damaged. Oh, I can play this on this turn as well. Wait, so I have 18 from hand, 23 with weapon. Can Consecrate as well, so 25. Oh, this leaves up a 6-7 though. I think I'm supposed to hit with my weapon here. Like, it seems like they're just going to heal up most of it, but, like, two damage is kind of nice, maybe. I mean, they're only at 22 here. You have a baking soda volcano? Really? Can I draw two damage? Is that possible? I think I just play all the assembly bots here. So this doesn't kill, but it's a hell of a board. I have no clue if this is good enough. The baking soda volcano, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this game. Yeah, lost the game because they had a baking soda volcano. Sucked. Is playing the second test here even smart? Oh, it got pulled by Kangor. Duh. Yeah. 
So I'm just dead to the weapon currently. Okay. I mean, I might not be dead here. What? That equality doesn't seem that good so far. I mean, I've got pretty good board. The light Is this game still winnable? I have Divine Shield, so it's kind of hard for them to heal with the weapon here. Not an AoE, please. I will not Cease your quarrel at once. Well, that's a hell of a card for them to generate. They might still just be dead, though. Holy shit, I won this game. How did I win this game? Annoy troop is OP, I guess. 